verbal's in comfort too? It's crazy. You can see? Yo, give me some reps, Nelson. <laughs> Just think about to turn this car off and back on. <laughs> Oh, you funny. Yo, them flames? Can you guys hear the carnage right now? Ugh. Look at that, wow. I never knew somebody took the time I did to put winter tires on that car, and not everybody's like that. That's a good dad right there, teaching his daughter how to drive with winter tires on his all-wheel drive accurately. Smart guy. You guys remember this place? Looks kind of familiar, right? Let's be back. You ready? Welcome back to yet another episode. My name is Mike, and this is Slow Speed. We got Nelson right here, behind the camera. Hopefully it comes out clean and clear. I hope I'm not squinting a little bit too much. We got Nelson's F30 right here. I want to do some B-roll of that because it's sick. We never really got to discuss Nelson's car. I mean, it's pretty much stock, but I don't know. Lately it's been looking nice, especially with the stock wheels. But uh, we got 435. This video is obviously about my 435. If you look at the title and the thumbnail, I'm planning on wrapping my car. Well. This video is more so going to be a discussion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and speak to you guys a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and take a ride out to KP Pigments because I'm not exactly doing a traditional wrap or I don't even know why they call it wrap. It's more like a paint job. It's something called Autoflex. So if you guys are not familiar with that, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, well, brush up, talk to you guys a little bit about it and head to KP Pigments where, I mean, they probably give you a little bit more in depth because I'm kind of new to that as well. To be 100% honest with you, I was shooting for straight power in the beginning. However, a lot of unfortunate things happened and uh, led to some issues that I had to overcome. One being the hood. Now, the turbo install was a little bit difficult to begin with, bouncing around from shops, but at the end of the day, I had some damage done on the car, uh, the rear quarter panel of the bumper, uh, shout out to my neighbor, and the hood. Uh, the hood got damaged in the turbo install. Essentially what happened is they were testing the car, they forgot to close the hood, the hood flew up. End of story, nobody's here to blame, no one's here to argue. They went ahead and provided me with a lovely GTS hood. Now the GTS hood is in fact black, it's not gloss black or unpainted, it's technically unpainted, but it's like a in-between black. Uh, believe it or not, lowering the car does look kind of sick now, however, uh, that is going to change. I plan on I wrapping the car, changing the color of the car. So, for those of you who keep commenting me, wheel horsepower number, dyno numbers, or anything about the Big Boost Turbo, you just gotta give me a second, trust me. This build takes time, especially with things like these turbos. This is not a, uh, a hybrid turbo setup where it's the same exact stock housing and they just bore out the insides. It's a custom setup. So what that involves is a lot, a lot of relocating parts. And it also leaves room for things to uh, break, hoses to get kinked, things like that. Uh, wastegate adjustment issues. I'll get into that in a whole other video. But you just have to realize and bear with me guys that this is a full build. This is a big turbo build. I would love for it to happen overnight, but things just don't happen like that. In the meantime, between time, my car got damaged. I started to dislike the way it looked. And while the majority of my money was funneling into more power, I decided to take a break and just to get it back to, you know, nice, you know, nice looking. I want something nice to look at. Uh, if you look at it now, I mean, I've gotten a lot done. It used to look way worse than this, believe it or not, with the hood being f***ed up and everything. Not gonna lie to you. One of the main reasons why most would go with a wrap is because, well, it's more widely used, well-known, and there's a ton of shops out there that are really experienced in doing it, and they can accomplish something like that. Autoflex is a lot, a lot newer technology. You know, a lot of things are different, people testing here and there. And uh, while I think it doesn't go on that hard, 
No, no, no. I mean, I'm not a professional. I don't know anything about it as far as application-wise. But, um, yeah, I just want to try something new. With rap, you can't really get funky with the colors. You can't mix here, blend there. You're kind of only... Uh, you're kind of only limited to what the actual company produced. You're more likely seeing another car roll around with the same wrap you have, but when it comes to auto flex, you can mix different colors and things like that. Like I said, we'll get more into that KP Pigment, but uh, yeah, stay tuned. I hope you guys love it. Like I said, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Watch these videos. Go fund me is down below, like always, if y'all want to go fund me. If everybody puts a dollar, I don't really have a go fund me. <laughs> but all right, so off to KP Pigments, where hopefully they could do better. Out than I did. Look <laughs> <laughs> at that, guys. Always stay in the lines, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, that lip is atrocious. <laughs> it's how real people's park right here. Look at that. I hate you, my Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I hate you, bro. <laughs> Tell me that's not fire. Now you see what I mean? Yeah, like, yo. But you see how it don't take much for it to be a nice. You get what I'm saying? Oh, right here, right here. Wait, wait. This one. Oh, look. Wait, is it open? Autoflex is basically the um, top of the line product that we have. And the biggest benefit over Plasid or any other sprayable coating is one, you have um, it's solvent resistant and scratch resistant. So, you know, just like a regular clear coat, it doesn't scratch with your fingernails and if you spill gasoline when you're filling up. Yeah, that was one of the biggest issues with Plasid. If you're filling up gas and you spill it a little bit, it'll eat right through it. So we actually, we created that product ourselves for that issue. Now it's almost like you know, if you're it's going with issue. a yeah, high-end coating, you don't need that anymore. And, you know, comparing it to vinyl wrap, like you said, the biggest issue is, I don't know if you've seen like a gloss vinyl wrap up close in person. Yeah, I had a roof, a roof wrap. Yeah, so no matter what,
vinyl brand you go with, no matter how much you spend on it, you're never going to get a completely flat, yeah. even finish. It's always going to look a little bit orange peeled. I've noticed that the vinyl wrap doesn't look like it has a lot of depth to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you know? it doesn't. Yeah, that's I was that's why I was kind of skeptical about Autoflex because I don't know how it is, but everyone says it's like paint, so I'm figuring it has that depth like paint. Yeah, so the clear coat that goes on top of it, that's basically where all of that comes from. It's a specific clear coat developed for the base, mm -hmm. and it's very similar to a traditional 2K clear that's on your car right now. Mm -hmm. And we even have, we have a body shop right next door. And they yeah, I've seen that. I kind of figured you guys were hand in hand a little bit. Uh, they haven't really sprayed for us yet, but they've seen a couple of cars, uh -huh. a couple of our cars pull up and even the painters can't tell yeah. that it's peeled. Well, that's how good the stuff looks. That's good. How long does that last compared to wrap or regular paint? As long as like regular paint, mm -hmm. it basically lasts the same. So as long as you maintain the car, it has no problem oh, good, lasting yeah. the lifetime of the car. You know, if you keep it garage, you yeah. keep it indoors, it has no problem lasting. So like you know, sun, because you yeah. know, sun does a number on vinyl. Yeah. 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 So you're not going to have that issue. And compared with vinyl, the biggest issue with that, in my opinion, is, you know, modern cars nowadays, the front bumpers are super complex. Yeah. There's so many cuts and curves in them. Vinyl, the best vinyl wrapper in the world. He can't do you a see bumper. You see the so with this stuff, you spray it on, you're not gonna have any seams, you're not gonna have any cuts, and you're gonna go to the edge on every single panel. Okay, okay. So you guys only do wholesale, like, could, do you sell it to private? Like So Autoflex Express is a professional only product. Only product. You have to have a body shop to purchase it from us, okay. and that's because you need that equipment to spray the car. This is not something that you know you can spray yeah, in the home. garage. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I've seen these, but this is just for yeah. a classy tip, right? Yeah, so we have um, a couple levels of the performance series plastic dip and the regular plastic dip, you would have no problem spraying these out of that gun. The finish you get, for the amount of money that you spend for the work that you put into it, it's really, really good, but mm -hmm. obviously Autoflex Express yeah, has a lot of benefits over at. that, yeah. See, I, I was wondering that because, I'm not gonna lie, I, I was gonna go ahead and order like a big inflatable thing, put it in my mom's uh, yard, I and mean, I figured, like, yeah. listen, that's the, the biggest issue with the um, Autoflex Express is not even just the spray booth, but you need a high-end spray gun. Most of these guys, Pro Dipper, he has two spray guns, I think each of them are $1,000. Um, the compressor that you have, you need to have a huge compressor to spray, you need to run all the lines, that's going to be like another $1,000, yeah. so. That's where it adds yeah. up. I'm assuming my color that's somewhere on this wall, it was, uh, was like very rare, but yeah to be honest that's probably one of the more popular ones <laughs> so um we have a decent amount some of the color shifts the more subtle ones yeah i don't think those are as popular i don't know i guess people they're going with the color shift they want to go a little crazy. they want to go crazy yeah yeah i understand yeah the pinks probably aren't as popular as some of the other colors yeah you could this do is... something like this this is the one of the newest colors that we have but i don't know if you pick it up on the k if you move it like in the light Oh yeah, and you see like, it. Yeah. You move around, it's like a bluish hue. I feel like this would go nice on some kind of a clarin or something, yeah. you know? I don't know why I feel like that. This is really nice. So let me ask you this, right? From what I know, what he told me, is a base coat. Correct. Gray base coat, I think he might have said. It depends on the color. And then he said a gray, and then the color, then a pearl, then the clear over it. Correct, yeah. Okay. So for the most part, I would say 80% of our colors that are sprayed just over a black base coat. Mm -hmm. The only time that changes is if you're spraying like a white color, like some of these, obviously those goes over, go over white. Yeah. Or if you're spraying like a really bright color, oh. those go over a color matched base. Okay. One of these colors, I think it's that gold over there. Oh, uh, over black. Right here? I think it's um, this one. Where over black, you know, you get like a nice gold to green flip, but mm -hmm. if you do it over red, it shifts from like a red to a gold. We call that the Iron Man. Uh, yeah. See, I was I didn't want to be too daring and go with a, a, a straight color shift thing. I wanted to stick with something like loud, but you know. Spray-wise, these would be more money to spray as well. No, or, not the only thing really that changes is the material. The only time spray-wise it gets more expensive is if you're gonna do like a juice, which mm -hmm. is like our candy additives. Because there's a couple more steps involved gotcha. when you do that. You have to do a pearl base and then the juice. And, and this is, oh, this is sweet right here. This is like more like a Hulk. Yeah. 
I would have to come here, figure out what I want, and then contact. Correct. Yeah. So what you can do is if you're taking it to a professional shop to spray, you can come here and basically see off the colors in person. Yeah. Uh-huh. On the internet, it yeah. doesn't really do most of these colors. Especially dresses. Instagram, yeah. Exactly. Or if you want to just pick up products for yourself to do, uh-huh. like the Pi Cedar products, we have all of those in stock. You could come by, pick those up. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna link your guys' Instagram down below. Okay. Yes, you got some sick, sick stuff on there. Thank you. And then, Ah, met up with uh, the guy over there at KP Pigments. Took some time out to see out of the other colors. I could tell you, very tempting. Subscribe, stay tuned if you guys want to see the color. I'm going to talk more with Pro Dipper. So if you guys have any questions, any questions at all that I didn't touch base on, put them down in the comment section because I'm going to go live with Pro Dipper and we're going to touch bases on all the questions that you guys have so either join the live with me i'll post the date uh sometime somewhere uh, you will know all right guys thanks for locking in with me i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out